Good morning! Hi, it's Auntie Kayla. How are you doing today? I miss you so much. Today, I wanted to sing a song with you. Do you know the song, The Wheels on the Bus? I love that song. It's one of my favorites. So I thought today we could sing it together. Are you ready to sing Wheels on the Bus? Me too. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round. Round and round, the wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. Here's my favorite part. The babies on the bus say, wah, 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 wah. The babies on the bus say, wah, 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 all through the town. The driver on the bus says, move on back, move on back, move on back. The driver on the bus says, move on back, all through the town. The wipers on the bus say, swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus say, swish, swish, swish all through the town the doors on the bus go open and shut open and shut open and shut the doors on the bus go open and shut all through the town what's next the windows the windows on the bus go up and down, up and down, up and down. The windows on the bus go up and down, all through the town. Remember those crying babies that were saying, wah, wah, wah? What does their mommy say? The mommies on the bus say, The mommies on the bus say, shh, 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 all through the town. Good job. You sang my favorite nursery rhyme with me. That is such a fun song, isn't it? You are a special boy or a special girl. Whoever's watching, God made you special. And taking a, a ride on a bus is very fun. Have you ever been on a bus? Sometimes buses are bumpy. Bump, 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 bump. Sometimes they go fast. And sometimes you get to sit by your friends because lots of people fit on a bus. Today, I want to read you my favorite storybook from when I was a little girl. My grandma used to read it with me. And I would always hunt for it when we were at her house. My favorite book is called Socks for Supper. By Jack Kent. Look at this little couple. Aren't they so cute? Socks for supper? That sounds like a funny title, doesn't it? But it's gonna be a good one. Let's see what it looks like inside. Hmm. Would you eat socks for supper? That sounds kind of funny. I don't know about you, but I like steak or eggs. Here we go. In a faraway place, in a long ago time, there lived an old man and his wife. They were very poor. Do you see them working in their little turnip garden here?
all they had was a tumble-down house and a tiny turnip garden. One day, he said to his wife, One can get tired of eating nothing but turnips. Have you ever had a turnip before? I don't know if I would want to eat them for breakfast and lunch and dinner. Not far away, there lived a couple who had a cow. The old man and his wife used to look at the cow and dream of milk and cheese. Maybe they'll sell us some, said the old man. We don't have any money, his wife reminded him. Perhaps we could trade something. Trade them something for some milk, said the old man. Ooh. Did you know that you can trade instead of paying money? You give something to someone else and they give you something back. You trade. <clears throat> Perhaps we could, his wife agreed. And they searched the house for something to trade. They looked and they looked, but the only thing they could find that wasn't in pieces or tatters was a pair of socks. The old man took the socks and went to see the couple who had the cow. Look at that chicken. He's so cute. I love that chicken. <laughs> what do chickens lay? They lay eggs. <clears throat> a little while later, he came happily home again with a bucket of milk and a small cheese. Oh, this is so good, said his wife. Oh, they are just eating that milk and cheese. Yum, 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 yum. They look so happy. Does cheese make you feel happy too? I like cheese on pizza. Mm -hmm. It wasn't long before they began to wish they had some more. But they didn't have any more socks to trade. I will knit some, said the old woman. She's got out her knitting needles and her yarn bowl. Is she going to make some socks? But she didn't have any yarn. So she unraveled part of the old man's sweater and knit a pair of socks with that. Do you see? I see a little bit of his belly. It's making his sweater get a little bit short. What happens next? They again traded the socks for milk and cheese. And they feasted as they did before. When it was all gone, the old woman knitted another pair of socks. <laughs> I see his belly button. Uh-oh. His sweater is getting smaller. And once more, the old man traded them for milk and cheese. More milk and cheese for them. Oh, but this is funny. Look at his silly shirt as he goes and trades for that milk and cheese. That almost doesn't even look like a shirt anymore, does it? Yum. Look at them eat that milk and cheese. When that was gone, the old woman started knitting again. That shirt is getting shorter and shorter.
but there was now only enough yarn left for one sock. Uh-oh, the old man doesn't have a shirt on anymore. What good is one sock? The old woman asked. They won't trade any milk or cheese for that. Oh, he looks so sad. He's not going to have milk and cheese anymore. We'll see, said the old man. And he took the sock to the couple with the cow. Looks kind of cold outside. Oh my goodness, he has no shirt on, just a scarf. That looks pretty chilly to me. I only have half a pair of socks this time, he said. Would you trade half a bucket of milk and half a cheese for this? What do you think the farmer's going to do? Do you think he'll trade milk and cheese for just one sock? Would you just wear one sock a day? I don't know. Let's see what he says. Oh, no, that is not necessary, said the farmer. You see, said the farmer's wife, one sock is exactly what I need. Well, that was very kind and generous of them to give them milk and cheese when they only paid half. She was knitting her husband a sweater for Christmas. She'd gotten the yarn for it by unraveling the sock, and she needed just one more to finish the job. Do you see how she made a whole sweater from all of those little socks? She just unraveled it, then got the string, and she sewed it back together and made a sweater. But the sweater didn't fit. It was too big on her husband when she finished it. So the wife gave it to the old man, for she had noticed he didn't have one. That was really sweet. She gave him that sweater she worked, worked so hard for because he needed a shirt. How nice. And do you think it fit the old man? It was just the right size. Now do you see why I love that book? It's so kind, it's so generous. The neighbors shared their milk and cheese. The farmers used what they had to try and buy it. And everybody was good. I hope you had fun today reading a book with me and singing my favorite song. I hope you have a wonderful day and be blessed in Jesus' name. I love you. Auntie Kayla loves you.